chef and food. Kind of like a, <laughs> so we can say it's like a pig. He's getting actually fat and un unhealthy, even when he walks, you know, he can't walk far. And I'm not really very happy about it because he doesn't care, he just eats. So far, Gizzy has worked her magic on Ghanai's fat-filled feta filo rolls. I like aubergine, but I've never had it this sort of way. This is really tasty, isn't it? But now she faces the challenge of his fried Turkish breakfast. I do love my breakfast. Obviously, I fry it with eggs, and then next to that, I'll have fried um, halloumi cheese, spicy sausage. So basically, we do have quite a big, very big breakfast. Everything that Ghanai has for his breakfast is fried, and that's the one recipe that I, is really becoming a bit of a challenge to me. So I think I'm going to have to give him something that he's probably not used to, and that is absolutely giving me the willies. I don't really know how he's going to take to my food. There's only one way to find out, in the Cook Yourself Thin kitchen. The recommended daily fat allowance for an adult male is 90 grams, but Ghanai is having three times that just in his breakfast. That's the equivalent fat as 25 packets of wow. crisps. Cool. OK. That's a lot. What I'm going to be doing for you is homemade baked beans on toast with some bacon and a poached egg, and I hope will be a really good alternative to what you're used to having. OK. What we've got here is just some bacon. This fat that runs along the side of it actually takes up two-thirds of the fat content of it, so I'm not going to be using that. To me, that seems like the, the good part. This, this piece of meat here, that's where you get most of your flavour from, so I really, right. you know, you're not going to miss it, I promise you. Also, to this, we're going to go for an onion. When we're going to do oil, what we need to do is we need to measure it out. It's so easy to lug yeah, loads of oil in here. Yeah, that's what I That's just one tablespoon of oil, Ghanai. If I'm frying it, obviously, you can see oil. So the one I put, I just keep pouring it. Fry the onion and bacon. Add two cloves of finely chopped garlic, a teaspoon of brown sugar, tomato puree, 60 seeded chopped tomatoes, a few sprigs of fresh thyme and a pinch of dried chilli flakes. Add two cans of drained cannellini beans, 200 millilitres of chicken stock and while your homemade baked beans bubble away, make the toast to go with it. <laughs> When you griddle bread, yeah. you actually, it tastes so fantastic. Yeah. These chars yeah. act like a barbecue. Right. You get that barbecue flavour. I do like barbecue, yeah. yeah. The taste of barbecue, yeah. Have you ever poached an egg before? Have you ever had a poached egg before? Mm, no. A, okay. Fried egg boiled, but not poached. Having a poached egg rather than fried saves over 30 calories. We've got some salted water which has been boiling. Just give that a spin. And when yeah. that's calmed down a little bit, you just plonk. The egg in the middle. Then we just let that bubble away for about a minute. OK, so I'm going to scoop out this egg. And you can see that looks beautiful. Yeah, it does, actually. OK. This sauce has really thickened up. Yeah. So all we need to do now is season it. Putting a nice big few spoonfuls on there. Put some bacon, make sure we get a bit of everything. And then onto that, if we put our poached egg. And if that is not a breakfast fit for a king, I don't know what is. And there you have it. A delicious breakfast beans on toast, bursting with fresh flavour and topped with a perfect poached egg. Mmm. It is really nice. The bread's really tasty. I, I would have this in the morning. But a big plate like that, first thing in the morning, yeah. would definitely set you on your own, yeah. for sure. It's much lighter, obviously, and healthier. Great, that's yeah. what we want to hear. Ghanai's Turkish fry-up came in at a fantastic 270 grams of fat, compared to Gizzy's mouth-watering beans and egg on toast, with a fat-friendly count of just 12 grams. So you would have to eat 20 of these <sighs> to match your normal morning breakfast. 20? Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> Don't get any ideas, Ghanai. So far, so good. With two downfall dishes dealt with, there's just one to go. And it's the great British classic, fish and chips.
I love fish and chips because it's fried as well and you just get that better taste. I, I, I love fish and chips. I just love the crispy batter. Gizzy must find a way of turning the fish and chips into something a little more calorie conscious. So how would you feel if I told you that I can make you a batter that is so much lighter and crispier and, in my opinion, more delicious than what you're already used to? And we're going to be deep frying. Well, it sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I'd, if, obviously, if it's got that sort of same taste, I'd, I'd probably go along with it, yeah. Excellent. To make the tempura batter, you'll need plain flour, a tablespoon of corn flour, some salt, ice cold fizzy water, and whisk it all together. That is done. Do you recognise everything here? They're vegetables, Gane. Probably the pepper, the onion, and, and the courgettes, but not. I'm not familiar with the other two. Okay, really. well, this is asparagus, and one of these is definitely one of my favourite veggies. They oh. absolutely rock. Um, and then we've got a sweet potato. This deep fried is going to be your equivalent to chips. They don't look much like the chips Guinea's used to. Slice up the peppers, onions, courgettes, and chop the ends off the asparagus. So for me, already, this is looking way more exciting than your average fish and chips because you've got so much, so many different colours, so many different textures. Are you feeling the same? Uh, <laughs> You're not, not so sure. Not really, no. I mean, all that vegetable, I don't know. <laughs> Gizzy's still got some convincing to do. Anyway, on to the dipping sauce. You know what this is? Yeah, spring onion, yeah. Excellent. And this? I don't know what it is. Ginger. It's ginger, yeah, ginger. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Slice up two spring onions, grate up some ginger, Add a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and mirin, which is rice wine. And already that's a bit more exciting than a tartar sauce, no? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Maybe the sight of his faithful deep fat fryer will cheer him up. Simply dip the vegetables in batter and pop in the fryer. No more chips then. He can't forget about his fish and chips. You'll see that, you know, fish and chips takes about five to, to eight minutes to cook. I mean, yeah. we're literally going to cook this for a maximum of about two minutes. You can see that batter is just so much yeah, yeah. thinner. Mm. But you're going to get that same crunch. You're going to get your fried flavour. Unlike with fish and chips, you don't want to get too much colour on here. Then we just put everything on to uh, some kitchen paper to let it drain. So any excess fat is going to come out of it. What I don't normally do, what like, I should do. <gasps> See, that's really bad, because that means you're just going to be lugging the oil. Time for the prawns. Wipe them at the edges and plonk them in. You can do the same with cod bits and... Totally. Whatever. He just can't let go. <coughs> Give it a shake, shake up that excess oil. Same again. And scoop them out. That's looking really nice. See, that's not bad, mm. is it? That's almost enthusiastic, Gane. You actually get to have some carbs with this, so we're going to go for some sushi rice. Sushi rice might sound exotic, but it's available to buy in most big supermarkets. Just going to put some dipping sauce into a bowl, and then it's literally just a matter of piling a load of this veg on top of the, your plate. So, are you looking more excited now? I am now? actually, yeah, I am now, yeah. 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 <laughs> You've got to say that this Looks a whole lot more exciting than fish and chips. Yeah, it does, actually. That looks sexy, yeah, right? Yeah. Plate up a lip-smacking selection of tasty tempura with sticky sushi rice and a tangy dipping sauce on the side. You can get all the recipes from Cook Yourself Thin at channel4.com forward slash food. Yeah, it's really nice. Because it's still got... Um, I like sort of the batter because you can still taste it, but obviously it's really like, like much lighter. Yeah, I think it's sweet potato. Yeah, it's really nice. It's definitely different than chips, but it is tasty. Yeah. Ganae's fried fish and chips weighed in at a massive 2,418 calories, compared to Gizzy's lightweight tempura that's almost five times less at a bulge-busting 460 calories. I'm going to stick to doing it that way. Excellent. Oh, definitely, yeah. If it's obviously it's a lot light in calories and it's, it's got a really nice taste to it as well. So, with the tempura proving a triumph, it's three out of three for Gizzy's replacement recipes. But will Gane stick to what he's learnt? 
it's kind of like a wake up call because I'm obviously now realise that I've, I've been eating, you know, too much um, fatty stuff, too much oil. It's taught me a lesson basically, give me a knowledge of what correct food to cook. And Gizzy's got one final trick up her sleeve to keep Guinea away from the love of his life. This is my baby. At least for a little bit. Your very own griddle pan. No, I've never had one of these, no. All oh, right, Excellent. thank you. So the great thing about cooking this way is, is that these ridges here, they hold your whatever you're cooking up, yeah. which means that if there's any fat to come out of it, it just sinks down into the grooves and it doesn't right. touch the meat or fish or whatever you're cooking. So hopefully this is going to revolutionise your life. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will, definitely. If Guinea did nothing but swap his three dishes for Gizzy's and did a little bit of exercise, he'd cut his calories by more than 4,000 a week. That's more than a pound in seven days. In a year, he could shed up to four stone. Now that's cooking yourself thin.